Well, hello everyone. Hopefully you're doing pretty well today. My name is Deborah, and welcome to my channel, Crafty Talking Creations. I am an independent designer with Talk Couture. And today I'm going to make a project using one of their, bah, I cannot speak, Simple Shapes Rectangle. It's a five by seven and this is in the, uh, the brown wood color. And it's a two pack. So I only need one of them because you can use the front and the back. So I'm just gonna open this up. Just need to get one out. There we go. One. And I'm going to be using one of the simple shapes and bases. That way I can put that in there. And this transfer, I think this is absolutely adorable. I've already used this one, obviously. It will not come to you like this. Uh, but I used the black paste. And I. this is what it looks like on the white one with the black. But this one, I thought I saw this. And I thought this would look, I think it would look really nice with white paste on the brown wood background. So that's what I'm going to do today. One side, this is perfect for your spring, and then you've got the peony seeds, sure to grow. On the other side, I think that's going to look really cute. So the name of this transfer, this is a size B transfer, it's an 8.5 by 11, so you're getting two different transfers on one. That's really great. And the name of it is Rabbit and Company, Sure to Grow. Or Rabbit and Co., you know, for company. Sure to Grow. So that is the name of the transfer. Now you can cut these in half. They do have a line, so if you want to cut it in half, you could do that. I just take my scissors and um, one point, and I just score it. That way it's on the same transfer. Or on the back sheet, I should say. Now all you need to do is just make sure that you mark the back of it because as you can see with a new manufacturer it, the back has a sheen to it just like the front. So just make sure that you mark it so that way you put it on the correct side. All right. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Now, anything, any of the products that I am using from Talk Tour, I will have an editable shopping cart link posted down below so that way if you'd like to get the, the um, the white surface instead of the brown one, you can do that. You can get paste packets if you want. You can get jars of paste. You can edit it. You can get colors that you that would fit your decor. I'm just trying to give you some ideas and some inspiration of something you can use this transfer with. I think this is perfect for spring, and I love this one too. All right, I'm going to set this one aside. I'm not going to be using that one. And I will be needing some surface wax because I need to wax my wood. Uh, surface so that way um, it, I mean it's pretty smooth but there are some little grooves from the wood so I'm going to go ahead and wax the front and the back of it and I'm going to show you really quick how I do that this is just an old towel that I have that I cut they do have wax applicators if you like to get those use one for applying your wax and one for buffing if you would like to like I said I will put that in a shopping cart so if you like to get those, you can. If not, then you can just remove it. So I just get an amount on my towel. And then you just kind of rub it on there. Same thing with the other side. I'm going to get a little bit more. Now you can paint this if you would like to. Um, I like it with the, the brown stain look to it. Totally up to you. And then with a another surface that does not have the wax on your towel, then you just buff it. Sorry if the camera's shaking, it's attached to my table here. Now, when you after you buff it, if you still feel a little stickiness, a little tacked, then you need to buff it some more. It should feel smooth. Now the side I have not buffed. Pretty easy peasy. This is a quick project, a nice little cute spring sign. That feels pretty good. And that is pretty much it. I'm going to set that aside as well as my towel. All right, now what I need to do is I need to fuzz my transfers. Like I said, I've already scored this, so I'm going to set that down. 
keep your backer sheet and your sleeve that your transfer comes in. That way you can use it for storage. Now saying that I have waxed this, I only need to probably fuzz this three or four times. There we go. Now these are reusable. Chocotour states that you can reuse these anywhere from 8 to 12 times. I'm going to leave that one on there for right now. And I'm going to do the Rabbit Company one. Oh, I almost forgot. I need to apply my base because your base has some depth to it. And I do not want to put my transfer on so low to where I could possibly be hiding it from the base. So you want to put your base on first. And then you you can measure if you would like to. You are welcome to do that. I eyeball most of my projects here. I just want to make sure that I don't have this on too low. All right. Piece of wax there. All right, that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to remove my base. And then I'm going to lay this down and I'm going to smooth this over with my hands. Make sure I don't have any little lumps or bumps underneath there. Like there's one right there. If you do, you just go ahead and pick it off. And then you can also take your mini squeegee and just swipe over it. See if there's any little air pockets. And then you can just lift it up and re-smooth it out. Just to go over to make sure that you have it down. Now seeing that my, um, I don't know, the surface here in my, a smooth surface and it kind of wants to move around on me. I'm just going to grab my, my towel here really quick. I do have another one. But for right now, I'm just going to use this one. Now I've got my white paste. This is the bright white. You could use Dune. You could use another color. You could use black on the brown if you like. That might look pretty nice too. Uh, you could use a shimmer. Whatever color combination you would like. But I think the white will look really nice. Okay, I'm having issues getting this open. There we go. It will look really nice on this. And you just take your squeegee with the bevel edge there. You dip it into your jar. If you have a jar, if it's a paste, then just put it a paste on your on a surface, you know, like a plate or something like that. And you just scoop some up. And then you generously apply it onto your transfer and your surface. Now at the bottom, it's not, I don't... Is it this one right here? It might be the other one. Yeah, they have this the silk screening. Oh, it's up here on the side. Um, that is also, it has their copyright information and about the transfer, the name of the transfer. That is also silk screen. So if you're concerned about getting any paste on that because it will go through on your, your surface, you can mask that off with their placement tape or some painter's tape. It does have a black warning sticker on the outside of the sleeve that your transfer comes in, so that way you it's a, just a reminder. All right, now that I have that on there, I'm going to scrape off the excess of my squeegee, and then I'm going to go back over my transfer and get any excess off of that, so that way I know I have good, even coverage. All right. Now it's time for the peel and reveal. Now you want to lift it slowly, just in case you missed a spot, then you can lay it back down and touch it up. I like this with the white. I love that. I love that. Absolutely love that. Now I have an extra towel over here. I'm going to lay it down sticky side, and I've got a bottle of a spray bottle of water. And I'm just going to spray it down until I can get it to the sink to try to keep that silk screen moist because I do not want that paste drying in, in there. So that way I can reuse my transfer. Now, I, you, if you have a hair dryer or something, you can use that to speed the process along because you want to make sure this side is dry before you use on the back side. Put your design on the back side. So I'm just going to go and 
dry this really quick. Well, hopefully it's really quick. Oh, I do. I absolutely love that. Oh, I love that with the white. And this is uh, what it looks like with the white surface with the black paste. There you go. Same design, but it has a different, um, different look, but a different feel to it. That makes any sense. This one to me is like a little bit more uh, farmhousey. This one to me, it could still be a farmhouse if like you do the camels and you know, and the tans and the creams. I think that would be really nice with that. But I think this would fit in with a boho look too because of the brown wood. A little bit more organic, I guess. 100% <laughs> organic, for lack of a better term. Oh, I do. I like this. All right, let me check and see if this is dry. Get that out of the way before it falls off the table. Okay. Yeah, that feels good and dry. Now I'm going to flip it over on the other side. Remember, I've already waxed it, so I don't need to worry about that. And I've already fuzzed this, so it's ready to go. I'm going to set my fuzzing cloth aside. Actually, you know what? Never mind. I'm going to use it because it's going to move on me. Now, remember, I need to put my base. So I've got my transfer sticky side up, and I'm going to put this, put my base on there. Make sure that I am not placing my transfer design too low. Like I said, you can measure if you would like to. That looks pretty good. Now I'm going to remove my base and I'm going to smooth this over with my hands. Now my squeegee is dirty so I'm not going to use a squeegee so I need to make sure that I have, I mean you can wash it if you really want to do that. I've got a little fuzzy here. There we go. Just try to make sure that this is down very well. And I love this transfer. This is great. Yeah, if you have like a garden, little garden room, you got your little seedling started. Oh, perfect. All right, same thing. I'm just gonna dip that into my white paste and generously apply it. Now, because I have dried this, it's it has a little heat to it, so this might dry a little bit faster. I don't know. We'll find out. Now this side, this transfer does not have the copyright. It's just on the bunny one, at least from what I can tell. All right, now that I have that on there, I'm going to scrape off the excess. It's on my squeegee back into the jar, and I'm going to go to the transfer. This is a really quick, easy project. Like I said, you can come up with whatever colors that you would like. I'm just trying to give you an idea. Now it's time for the peel and reveal. And slowly lift it up. Oh, I love this. Look at that detail in there. Oh my goodness, I love that. Look at that. Ooh, I do, I like that a lot. my cap back on. Now I'm going to go ahead and dry this. And I'm going to put it on the base. And that way you can just switch out which side that you would like to show on your base. Because it has a slight angle there. So you can just turn your side. If you want to look at the bunnies and have that for like in the springtime, you want to do the little little seed packet type look and you've got this side. Now you can leave it like this. You can spray a matte Krylon um, as a brand. Uh, spray acrylic to protect it if you want. I'm going to let this cure for a day or two and I'm going to use the surface wax and I'm going to coat it with the surface wax. That's what I'm going to do with mine and then buff it. It's totally up to you on how you would like to do that if you'd like to protect it. 
And there we go. And that's how it looks in the base. I think it might look really nice if you do a little a little touch up with a little bit of the white on the edges to kind of antique it, kind of or do a little brush look. And there is the other side. I do. I really like how this turned out. I like that combination. I hope you enjoyed this video and it gave you some inspiration, some ideas of something that you can do with that, that rabbit and company and sure to grow transfer. The size B, you get two transfers on that one and that one sheet. This is really nice. I do like it. And you enjoy your day. And thank you so much for watching.